Singer Stacy Ferguson, who you might know better as Fergie, recently sold a charming California vineyard she'd custom built in 2013 for $3.7 million. Located in the town of Solvang, this sprawling home was created by the singer to share with her family, considering her father always dreamt of having his own vineyard and making his own wine. The stunning 6.2 acre estate offered a single level home with most rooms offering a peek at the panoramic views. While Fergie let go of this property, she continues to live in her longtime home situated in the Brentwood Hills area of Los Angeles that's designed in more of a contemporary style and offers about 8,000 square feet of space throughout. In June 2023, Fergie sold a property she owned in a northern area of California for $3.7 million. Located in the picturesque town of Solvang, California, this enchanting home holds a special place in the singer's heart. Custom constructed in 2013 by Fergie, the vineyard property was used as a retreat for her and her family and served as a platform for her father's winemaking, which he had always dreamt of doing. After a decade of cherished memories, Fergie recently sold the sprawling 6.2 acre estate to a non-famous couple from Phoenix. Solvang, California is a charming town that transports visitors to a slice of Danish culture in the heart of Santa Barbara County. Known for its enchanting Danish style architecture, windmills, and vibrant flower lined streets, Solvang offers a unique and picturesque experience. Strolling through the town, one can explore a variety of Danish bakeries, boutique shops, and traditional craft stores. Immerse yourself in the Danish heritage by indulging in delicious pastries, browsing intricate wooden clogs, or enjoying a traditional Danish meal at one of the local restaurants. With its idyllic setting in the San Inez Valley, Solving also serves as a gateway to the region's renowned wineries, where visitors can savor wine amidst vineyard views. Solving provides a memorable destination that blends Danish charm with Californian warmth, which it seems Fergie's property also managed to do in its own way. Tucked away at the end of a private cul-de-sac, her former Mediterranean-style residence exudes elegance and seclusion. Beyond the gated entrance and the long driveway, the house stands proud with well-maintained landscaping surrounding it. Its single-story design is enhanced by intricate exterior stonework as well as a grand flight of stairs that leads to the front door. Inside, you'll find over 5,400 square feet of space as well as four generously sized bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms throughout. An inviting foyer opens up to a living room boasting a stone fireplace. The kitchen is located right next door and features walnut cabinets, a top-of-the-line wolf range, and a convenient breakfast bar. Additional highlights in Fergie's former house include a temperature-controlled wine room, a butler's pantry, and a formal dining area. The interior is made even nicer with its stone floors and dark brown ceiling beams. But the folding glass doors steal the show considering they offer amazing views of the home's surroundings. The master retreat here is carpeted for comfort and offers panoramic views, a kitchenette, and a spacious bathroom. Two more bedrooms in the home enjoy ensuite bathrooms, while the fourth bedroom, located in a separate wing, is ideal for a housekeeper or guests who'd like some privacy, tucked away behind the kitchen and laundry room. Moving outside, additional amenities include a fully equipped outdoor kitchen, a fire pit, and expansive wraparound patios that provide views of the valley and mountains. While there's no swimming pool here, the property does feature a built-in hot tub and several charming fountains, while the hillside vineyard produces a considerable quantity of wine annually. Despite the property's seclusion, it's still conveniently located and only a five-minute drive from downtown Solvang, where one can admire the delightful Danish-style architecture that characterizes the area. When it comes to where Fergie lives full-time, she still calls her longtime property in Los Angeles home. So let's check that out next. Fergie primarily lives high up in the Brentwood Hills area of LA, where she's owned a modern mansion since 2007. While she isn't with her ex-husband and father to her son, Josh Duomo, anymore, this one was purchased by the one-time couple when they were still together, and it was remodeled in 2006, just a year prior to purchase. The contemporary estate boasts over 8,200 square feet of space, along with eight bedrooms and nine bathrooms, in a location that can make you feel on 
top of the world with its amazing views that even reached the coastline. The home was listed back then for just over $5.2 million, so it's assumed that's what Fergie and her ex-husband paid. The property offers plenty of privacy for the star, including gated driveways, and the spacious home features three floors of living space inside, all of which boast stunning views. Exterior views of Fergie's home don't showcase much warmth, but there are sleek modern touches that give the structure style, such as the stainless steel front door and opaque glass garage doors, which resemble illuminated light boxes at night. Inside, there are a handful of impressive amenities, such as two kitchens, a spacious master suite, a media room, and two family rooms, which are divided into two separate wings, while outside, there's more, including a pool and spa. While this house might not be everyone's taste, there's plenty to appreciate. Fergie's kitchen stands out for its modern yet timeless design. It's a clean and elegantly simple space that would remain stylish to this day, even though we can only see photos from back when she purchased it. The double height family room offered a large sectional sofa, but by now the furnishings have likely been updated, or at least we can assume. Here there are also windows and an open plan layout. Fergie's property boasts an array of patios and decks, seamlessly blending indoor and outdoor living to embrace the easygoing LA lifestyle. On the third floor, there's a covered patio as well, which offers views to the west and serves as an ideal spot to watch the sunsets or a kick back with a friend. Given the substantial size of this property and the two separate wings, there is a risk of the place feeling cold and vast, but it seems like Fergie doesn't mind at all. The home has served her for well over a decade, even following her divorce from her ex. Out back, the large and modern pool and spa also offer a tanning deck and a covered cabana to one side, making for a private oasis. After looking at where singer Fergie of Black Eyed Peas fame calls home, that's gonna wrap up today's tour. But before we go, answer this question for me. Would you live in a massive home with two separate wings if it was just you and one other person, or would you downsize? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Care the Vampire Slayer, and if you want to check out another tour before you go, then stay tuned because next we'll look at the homes of Rihanna. Bye! After working her butt off to secure a wildly high net worth estimated at $1.4 billion, Superstar Rihanna is said to have quite a stacked real estate portfolio. While she owns multiple properties in Los Angeles and even has spawned her native Barbados, it seems most recently, Riri has splurged on a glamorous $21 million condo. While she already is called the luxury building the century in Los Angeles home since 2014, with her second baby on the way, it was time to upgrade to a bigger, better residence in the same structure. This time, a penthouse covering the entire 40th floor. Rihanna and her family's new spread offers over 9,000 square feet of space, jaw-dropping views and features like floor-to-ceiling walls of glass and a personal movie theater. Back in 2014, Rihanna moved on into her stunning condo located in the Century Building, a 42-story condominium skyscraper in Century City, Los Angeles, about 10 miles from downtown. Other residents who live in the stylish Robert A.M. Stern design tower have often spotted the high-profile singer coming and going from the building. And according to several sources, Rihanna has long been using this condo as her primary residence. She sought her first condo here for safety purposes after an intense break-in incident occurred at one of her former homes. At the Century, there are private elevators and what's described as three layers of anti-paparazzi security. Not to mention, the building is also famed for its 24-hour valet and 75-foot luxury pool with private cabanas. Riri's first unit was said to boast three beds and four baths and cost her $5.45 million. So comparing to the price tag of her latest purchase here, this condo was definitely much smaller. According to reports, it spanned a total of 3,500 square feet. The Century boasts 140 units and other reasons for a high price tag to live here include amenities like a movie theater, spa, wine storage, fitness center, four acres of landscape gardens, and more. Most recently, in April 2023, it was reported that Riri had added onto her already large property portfolio with the purchase of a 
sprawling penthouse in the exact same building. Only this time, it costs the billionaire a whopping $21 million. The Century might be one of the most prestigious and pricey residential buildings in all of LA, but we know Rihanna can afford it. Considering she not only has a new baby, but also another on the way, it would seem that she and her partner ASAP Rocky needed a larger space for the growing brood. Riri's new condo is one of the largest in all of the building. It's a massive penthouse covering the full 40th floor and boasting 9,920 square feet of space throughout. Aside from all of the designer details and amazing views of the city lights below, her new crib comes with four bedrooms and 6.5 bathrooms throughout. Plenty of room for the soon-to-be family of four. Another billionaire, Nick Molnar, co-founder of Afterpay, sold the residence to Rihanna and while he won $28 million for it, she was able to negotiate a nice little discount. This could have worked out because the deal closed only one day before the new Los Angeles mansion tax came into play. And if they waited one more day, the former seller would have owed an additional $1.1 million in taxes. Still, Nick lost out on $600,000, considering he bought the penthouse two years prior from friend star Matthew Perry. While Perry lived here for four years, he seriously customized the property, getting help from architect Scott Joyce, as well as interior designer L.M. Pagano. Stepping into Rihanna's new luxury crib, a private elevator landing transports you directly to the home's entranceway, where the grand living room has soaring ceilings and full walls of curvy glass showing views of the city skyline. Also here, there are dark hardwood floors underfoot that continue into the formal dining room. Nearby, the modern all-white kitchen has top-of-the-line appliances, double islands, snack bar-style seating, and plenty of marble counters. Other stunning features in Rihanna's new family home include a plush soundproof theater with velvet couches and a cozy vibe, as well as a massive master suite that comes with not only a curved bedroom with walls of floor-to-ceiling glass, but also double walk-in closets, double ensuite bathrooms, and its very own private sitting lounge. Finally, the unit also justifies its hefty price tag with its not one, but four separate outdoor terraces, from which you can view the ocean, cat Catalina Island, downtown Los Angeles, the San Gabriel Mountains, and even Mount Baldy. Rihanna's penthouse also comes with a jaw-dropping monthly fee of $8,814, which gives the wealthy residents like her access to all of the amenities, like four parking spots in the underground, a 24-hour concierge, an outdoor swimming pool and gardens, an in-house restaurant, and much more. Other famous neighbors at the Century include the likes of reality stars Terry and Heather Dubro, as well as Denzel Washington, and even Candy Spelling, who owns the famous two-level penthouse just above Riri's. While Rihanna also owns two next-door mansions in Beverly Hills, she reportedly rents them out, but let's check those out next. In December 2020, Rihanna purchased a home in Beverly Hills, more specifically in the Beverly Hills post office area, on the same star-studded and posh street as legends like Paul McCartney owned properties. Her contemporary crib is nearly invisible from the street due to imposing privacy gates and hedges, and it has undergone massive renovations to blend both traditional and modern design elements. Meanwhile, inside the home features 7,628 square feet of space with five beds, and seven baths throughout. The home was built in the 1930s, but it had been completely torn down and rebuilt in recent years, making the new style very modern. Curved stairs out front lead you to the house's exterior, which these days features white paint with a black metal roof and trim. Interiors resemble a modern farmhouse design with French white oak hardwood floors and an open plan layout. There is a glass front door, which opens to the entryway, where there's a giant black bowl sculpture, and this area overlooks the center of the home, an open air courtyard with terrace, swimming pool, spa, and fire pit. Most of the lower level in this home surrounds the courtyard, which is accessible through walls of glass sliders. One of the living areas has white walls and a floor to ceiling black marble fireplace. Another, also with fireplace, is fitted with shades of gray from the walls to the bookcases and even the wet bar. Rihanna's kitchen in this residence has plenty of space to cook up a meal or entertain since it's bright and airy and features gold hardware, two white marble islands, and access to another slim terrace. Not to mention a cozy breakfast nook here was made glamorous with black leather seats. The master suite has tropical vacation vibes and looks like it's straight out of a resort. Also including a custom closet with black cabinets, 
beautiful ensuite bath opens up to an outdoor lounge area too. Also on the upper level of the home, you'll find a home gym with full wall of windows overlooking the central courtyard as well as the guest and family bedrooms. Throughout the home, there are plenty of open spaces to socialize, such as an intimate lounge area, a luxury wet bar, and the alfresco courtyard. The Half Acre property is on a slope overlooking the canyon, but the courtyard was a creative way to get the most out of this space. And because of its position on the hill, the entire property is surrounded by tall walls for extra security. Then, in April 2021, it was reported that Rihanna added onto that property and bought the house next door for $10 million. This home was never on the open market, but the gated property includes a large home. Originally built in the late 30s, spanning 3,000 to 500 square feet of space with four beds and 4.5 baths. The Tudor style home is designed with a mostly traditional vibe, offering up formal living and dining areas along with an eat-in kitchen on the main floor, which opens up to the family room. There are also some cozy fireplaces throughout the home too. That family room has glass sliders out to the backyard while the upstairs master suite boasts its own private balcony. While the home may look a little bit basic for Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, since they likely rented out to tenants, it was an investment. Now they own over an acre of land total with both of these Beverly Hills post office properties combined, as well as over 11,000 square feet of living space between them, two pools and tons of parking. Out back, there's a brick patio with room for eating in the fresh air, as well as a built-in barbecue and oversized swimming pool. While on top of the garage, you'll find a separate guest house with full bedroom suite. Now that we've checked out the homes of Rihanna, including her latest Century City, purchase, that's going to bring this house tour to a close. Before you go, answer this question for me. Would you prefer living high up in a penthouse or in a private home with a big yard? Let me know in the comments below. For me, I'm going to pick the yard and full on house every time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to check